This week we start in the barley and then head to the slough with Rick at North Country Guide Service. I yearn for a place to call my own. I'm going home. Say what you will, I'll be better for it still. I've been wondering what you're doing with your time. The Grind Waterfowl TV is brought to you by Dakota Decoy, premium gunning decoys for demanding hunters. Lucky Duck, masters of deception. Kent Cartridge, quality matters and performance counts. Mud Buddy, the king of mud motors. Excel, the boat to own. Cornerstone Gun Dog Academy, the most accessible online retriever training program. Yoder Smokers, handcrafted in the heartland. Sitka Gear, turning clothing into gear. Rig'em Right Waterfowl, the industry leader in specialty waterfowl products. On X Hunt, know where you stand. Vanilli. Simply perfect. Cowboys Wild Game Washer, as clean as you can get them. And these fine sponsors. This segment is brought to you by Dakota Decoy. We are on day two in North Dakota with Rick Darling, North Country Guide Service. And what a difference a day makes. We got up yesterday morning, I think it was almost 60 degrees uh, with a warm wind, warm south wind. I think we've got almost, it eh, feels like it might be a, maybe a north wind this morning and it was 36 degrees so it feels more like duck weather. It was a cut barley field that had been worked so the c cover was very minimal out there. Anything that you had was going to stand out but there were some bales out there we were able to utilize and set the X blinds up in between the bales. Those hay bales been out there for a month and, they, and they're in there feeding so it's just natural cover. So it, it makes for a great height. If there's hay bales there, by all means, utilize them. You know, setting out a bunch of spinners like we are today, that's where these bags really excel. We've got three bags and 12 spinners, and it makes it so easy to keep these organized. Uh, it makes it super efficient to get decoys and motion decoys set up um, in the morning. So all our luckies go in these backpacks, uh, and it's a great organizational tool. What a difference a day makes. Yesterday we got up and it was, it had actually warmed up overnight. South wind, about 60 degrees when we got up yesterday morning. This morning we got up, all kind of dressed the same way and went out and all went back and grabbed another layer. It was 36 degrees this morning, so winter's on its way. But uh, Rick's got two clients with him, Al and Paul, and it is Paul's first ever duck hunt. So we're hoping we get him some ducks, but knowing Rick, we will. It's gonna be good. So day two, North Dakota. This is awesome though, isn't it? Like your first cold morning. Yeah. Like, it feels, feels like more hunting. like you're hunting. Yeah. Single duck out front. <laughs> Kill it, boys. Kill it. Good shot. Hank. Nice shot, Rick. First duck of the day. Where is that, Rick? Did you get that, Rick? That, Rick? <laughs> Al and I must have shot exactly the same time because yeah. I didn't even hear your shoot. This segment is brought to you by Kent Cartridge. You had the same thought as me, Rick. We're making a little move with the luckies, uh, the ducks. We got a worked field off to the right side of us here. And the ducks are really trying to get into that worked field. They're coming over and looking at us and they're getting kind of the edge of the lucky ducks off the right side and then they're going trying to work ducks back. Coming here, there's ducks. So we're just trying to move the luckies and pull them closer out in front of the blinds before they make their turn. Nice pack coming right at us. Pair on the left. Yeah. That's our sheet. 
Yeah, take that. Yeah. <laughs> they're going to come right here. Here we go. Here, they're toast this time. <laughs> Boys, okay, finish him. Finish him. There, good job. Hank. Good shooting, boys. There, you crack one, Paul. Here, 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 here. Good job. Three down. Yeah, it's getting better. Uh, we took the time, we moved the luckies a little bit and it pulled the birds closer over to our blinds and three nice drakes there, one little bunch. So take the time and make the move if you need to. Another single. Right in front of you guys. Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. Are you kidding me? Not all of them. <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> Heel, heel. Hank. Go ahead. Here. Good. Good. Hey, heel. Duck's coming. Right on us. Get him, Rick. Kill him, kill him, guys. Kill him. Hank. Nice switch, Jim. Yeah. Here. Come here. Here. Good boy. If everything decoyed like a widgeon, we'd be having biscuits and gravy already. <laughs> Big group coming to the southeast. Hey Tim. Yeah. Tell Rick if he gets a Drake hanging like that, go ahead and shoot him. Okay. Hear that? Might as well pick, take those this cherries. Here's this group right here. Better get them, boys. Yeah. Good shooting. Three. Hey. Yep. Good job, guys. Just going to have to be a little patient. Well, we got three down out of that group. That was good. These birds are being tough right now. And Sun's not set up right for us. We're looking Here. right into the sun, but you gotta play the hand you're dealt with the wind the way it is right now. But there's birds around, and that's a good sign. We just have to pick away at them. Good. The ducks just aren't quite working right, but they're trying to work this, this worked up field here rather than the, the oats that aren't worked up. The ducks are coming up, they're coming out, and they're seeing this, and they're working this batch of decoys rather than getting over to where our blinds are. So, We've watched it long enough. Take the time and move. You're going to mess up a bunch or two, but then the ducks you do get should be right. So we're going to get them moved here and hopefully that works. We'll see what happens. This segment is brought to you by Lucky Duck Premium Decoys. Well, we're winding up our second day here in North Dakota. And it was as easy as it was the first day, it was tough today. That's hunting. It was easy every day. No one would enjoy it, but we shot, I think, close to 20 ducks today. Um, we're wrapping up here. We got everything picked up. We're gonna head back. Uh, we'll do some scouting. Tomorrow's our last day here. It was a tough day here in North Dakota, but still hunting, enjoyable. So day two, that's a wrap. As Violet's training continues, she handles it well. She maintains skills that have already been taught while learning new skills that are going to be beneficial for her future hunting in the field. And although Violet does do well, the teenage phase starts to come into full swing. From running around with sticks, playing keep away, getting distracted, seeing whatever she can get away with, Violet's teenage phase certainly made things tough. On top of that, we also faced other challenges. There's a guy playing bagpipes while we're trying to film a CGA segment. So, I guess that's Alabama for you. Now we're just kind of waiting it out, sweating it out in the hot, humid Alabama weather. But we do have a good segment coming. So, if you just bear with us, we'll get through this, I believe, together. And while challenges are frustrating, there are opportunities to overcome. With consistent effort, 
Violet continued to progress through the weeks of 52 plus and was able to get back on track. From introduction to hand signals, to adding in distractions, Violet learned to pay attention and obey, even if she would rather be playing. Now that Violet has finished her foundation work, she must learn to perform with the added excitement of a retrieve. In the next episode, follow along as Violet develops a solid retrieve and see what challenges await her. Well, we're on our last day here in North Dakota with Rick Darling, North Country Guide Service, and we're gonna hunt some water today. We love hunting these little North Dakota ponds, sloughs. Uh, this one's pretty big, uh, but the, we're actually on the slough from the first day the ducks were, that we hunted the field, the ducks were trying to get into this water, and I think we were just short stopping them in the field. So Rick knows we like ducks, knows we like water. Uh, we got a huge wind today. They're talking 25 to 35 with a gust of 50. So we're just gonna tuck up into this corner over here. Rather than set blinds up, we're actually just gonna set chairs in the cattails. We got cattails that are probably seven, eight foot tall. So we should disappear. I think it's gonna be a good morning. Just need those ducks to move and want to drink, and we're going to get them here in North Dakota. Those are some tall cattails. Oh, this is awesome cover. You know, normally when I'm scouting, I'm looking for dry land. I enjoy hunting ducks over fields. Every once in a while, I'll jump into a pothole, but I always get this simple request from Mr. Tim No. You got a pothole? So what's Rick do? Put the waders on for Tim. Is this the super with That's the big our wings? That's super lucky with the big wings, bigger motor. Yeah. And we got two HDs. We don't have any HDIs with us, but That's those would be That's not an HDI, is it? No, the HDIs would be ideal for this because they're waterproof. So I if you have them. an accident, you're pretty safe. I love them on the river. Yeah. The only way to go on water. I think I've got almost as many HDs as Rick has, but I run in the three HDIs on the river. Yep. The battery lasts three days. Yeah, that lithium battery is awesome. Yeah. Why don't you go over here and put one like in those spray up maybe yep. five yards out? Yep. And I'll take two and I'm gonna tuck them up over here in this corner. You can hide them a little bit in the cattails? I don't, let's just put them close to the cattails. Right on the edges? Yeah. yeah. With this big a wind, they shouldn't circle. I think hopefully that first pass they dump in. Okay. We'll try it. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> we are on day three in North Dakota with Rick Darley, the North Country Guide Service. This is kind of what we Think about when you think about North Dakota hunting, hunting these little potholes that they've got up here. And we're actually really close. Well, we're in the same field that we hunted the first day. And we were hunting the field rather than the water. We were just kind of short stopping the ducks. A lot of them were trying to get into this little transitional pond. So we talked Rick into letting us set up on it. And uh, we just had a, one drake just bomb into us a little too early yet, but I think it's gonna be good. I can't see nothing. <laughs> you guys put me behind the biggest patch of cat. Right here. Get him, Rick. There we go. Good job, guys. Hey. Good shooting, guys. Very good shooting. They all they all dead? Yeah. Oh, we got one that one, but That's the one he's going for right away. He'll get this one. My money's on the dog. You got it. Yep. This segment is brought to you by Mud Buddy and Excel Boats. This was the perfect setup for a slew like this. The slough was long enough that pressured or stale ducks could sit on the other end in normal conditions. But with wind gusts of 30 to 40, they had no choice but to sit in the calm water right where our spread was. What, here? Come here. Hey, here. Here. Hank. I see he's already on it. Yeah, young Drake. Really young Drake. Good boy. Good boy. Good dog. Three ducks. Three ducks. Three ducks. Come here. Crummy. Coming in. Coming in. Coming in. Go. Get ready. Get 
Get him, boys. Hank. Got them both ways. They come from the roost and came there before they went to feed. And once they got done feeding, some of those, once they got up, some of those ducks would transition over to that pond. It just gives them a different look. You're not at hunting them in the same field day after day. If there is those little transitional ponds in the area, you know, make Tim happy and hunt those. Take them, boys. Hank. Good job. Good shooting. Picking away at them here. They're really trying to hit the field, and we're just kind of, they're seeing the commotion in the water, so we're luring them over to us, but I think they're kind of wanting to eat. I'll get them, Bill. Okay. Good shot. Good boy, Hank. Good boy. Hank. Oh. Got a little teal across the water there. Uh, 10 o'clock. Oh yeah. We got ducks about 10 o'clock coming hard. I can read his mind. <laughs> he almost said, take him, boy. Yeah. Ooh, boy. Self-restraint yeah, there, it was, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> if, that, if those would have been about five yards lower right there. I need them low, Rick. Kill it, Al. Kill it. Kill it. Good, good shot. Shot, Paul. Hank. See, that's how you do it, Paul. Right in front like that, dog don't have to work that hard. <laughs> Good shot. Hank likes you, Paul. <laughs> Good boy. Hey, that's a cross. No, never mind. Yeah, it's a cross. Pintail mallard. Oh, so I thought it looked a little goofy. Yeah. Yeah. Look that's... at the feet on it. It's got the pintail wings on it. Oh, oh, right, ducks right, 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 right here, ducks right here. Don't move. Ready, Al? Yep. Get him. Crack him, boys. Hank. Oh. Is that good enough for you, Rick? <laughs> oh, we got the sun up. Uh, we got a good wind, it's really windy today, but it, which is good because these ducks are trying to suck up into this nice calm water. Uh, our first time duck hunter, Paul, just shot a pintail mallard cross all by himself. A little single came in, we let him shoot, and it's a cool duck. Um, we just had a nice, another, another nice little bunch come in here. We're picking away at them. Nothing like a pothole, Bill. <laughs> Potholes, like it pot is hole. cool, isn't it? Oh, it's awesome. Field's cool, but when they're coming to water. Nothing like it. Yeah. Good, good, here. You know when you're hunting waterfall, wind is your friend. I mean, you're always look, hoping, you know, oh, I hope there's some wind. Uh, gives you the ability to, to set up and how the birds want to come into the spread. But on the other hand, like it's been the last three days uh, when Tim and Bill and the boys have been up here, it's been excessive. I mean, we've had gusts that, you know, pushing 40 miles an hour, which is too much wind. It takes the birds a long time to get to the spread. Uh, gives them a long time to, you know, just pick things out. It makes it tough hunting. I mean, you want wind, but when it blows 30, 40 miles an hour, you know, patience is really the virtue. Then you have to wait and, and get them ducks. Like I always say, we need to let, you know, let them get right above us and just make them stand still. So when you pull up, you got them caught right there. Because, you know, if you get a little antsy and you pull up and they're out there, uh, you know, it, it's, it's one shot at best and you know it just makes it for you know tough shooting gorgeous birds i've chased them my whole life and i still get just as excited as a kid on christmas morning when we get into these things colors 
when those orange feet drop. Mm. When you're younger, everything's about shooting a limit. I mean, you're out there, you don't think you have a successful hunt unless you got a limit. Well, we shot a lot of ducks today, and, but you know, we quit early. Uh, we were a few short of a limit, but it, it takes nothing away from the hunt and the camaraderie that you have with, with good friends and just sharing the blind and hunting waterfall. Just a little bit ago, we had a single come in and Paul, our first time duck hunter, we let him take it. And it's a hybrid. This one's a cross between a pintail and a mallard. The speculum is just a little bit different. He's got a cross pintail mallard bill, pintail belly. That's like a true trophy. I mean, that is yeah. super rare. New decoy idea for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so if you're looking to fulfill your bucket list and want to come to North Dakota waterfall hunting, give me a call. It's uh, North Country Guide Service, Rick Darling at 701-351-4244. Next week on The Grind, we head to South Dakota where producer Sean is stacked up with mallards.